Okay, so we had an appointment today. Today's the bump date day. We had an appointment. Nothing really major, but just like a little checkup. But now I have to go starting today, every two weeks, to the harvest doctor, and every week to get an ultrasound. So I'm going to be in there literally like all the time. But we are eight months today. 32 weeks. Okay, I thought I had something in my teeth. Okay. 32 weeks. I can't tell if they dropping or not. I don't know if my stretch marks over here are getting worse. I can't tell. I think I am dropping. I don't know. But still no stretch marks over here. She's very huge, y'all. Very big. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm trying to get a look at these stretch marks. I don't think they've gotten deeper. But, yes. This is eight months. Okay, like 11 30. Yeah, the girl thought she beat the bed. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I know I didn't pee no bed. Um, but I wasn't sure what to do at first because you know, sometimes at, when your water break, you're not always going into labor, your water just breaks. But, um, we didn't want to take no chances, so we got on our way over here. My dad drove me and my mom here, and then Freedom drove, and then my dad went to go pick up Freedom's mom. So I think you probably can't see him, but he's over there sleep. I think. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I've been trying to update y'all, but people been in here since I've came in here, which was at like close to one. Um, but bottom basis is, um, cause I'm only 32 weeks, so they want to keep me for observation, depending on if I'm dilating or not, will depend on if they keep me here for two weeks until 34 weeks and then deliver me or if they deliver me before 34 weeks so they're gonna check me periodically and if i'm you know the same darling i'm not gonna give birth today but i'm gonna have to stay here for two weeks while they are monitoring and stuff like that I really don't want to do I don't want to be in here for two weeks y'all but then at the same time I don't really want to give birth right now because I feel like it's still too early granted twins are like bound to come early I guess but you know a whole what eight weeks early I think it's Kinda too early, so yeah. 
They got me hooked up to the monitors and stuff. I've been trying to go to sleep. I tried on my back, but back is not comfortable, so I tried on my left side. But I think I'm compressing baby B. So, oh, somebody just kicked me. But I think I'm compressing baby B when I lay on that side. So then when they see that on the monitor out front, they come in here and check on him. So I'm trying to find a different sleeping position, but right now, I'm not sleeping. I'm trying to go to sleep though, but yeah, I still got this bonnet on. <laughs> My hair don't look a mess, but yes. I was kind of in denial at first. I was like, I know. Cause I thought I peed on myself. I was like, I know I did not pee on myself in this bed. So I got up and I did pee in the toilet, but in the bathroom, but it was like way more fluid than just pee. And then after that, it kept like leaking out. I was like, yeah, no, I want to broke. So, and I don't have anything. Well, I have a, my dresser with their clothes and stuff. But I don't have no car seat stroke. I don't have no packing place. So I'm hoping they don't come right now. Um, and then I don't, the, the room just overall is not done. And so, yeah, I kind of got overwhelmed by that. But I'm not going to wrap it up too much. Uh -uh. I want water, but they won't give me water in case I have a C-section. I'm like, it's just water. My throat is so dry. Um, yep. My mom and his mom, Freedom's mom, is in the waiting room. Um, and Freedom's to hear me sleeping. I'm going to try to go to sleep. <sighs> but I literally can't get comfortable. I'm so exhausted. That is all I have to update on you guys right now. So, once on anything changes, I'll let you guys know. But fingers crossed that they don't come today. I'm kind of torn, like I said, it's like because I don't want to spend two whole weeks in here, but then I don't want them to come this early yet either. So I'm kind of torn between the two. I don't know, but yes, I will update you guys. Soon. Hey guys, so I haven't updated y'all in a while since yesterday morning, <coughs> but um, I think I told you that I'm staying here for two weeks. Um, yeah, she's gonna be in here for two weeks. Um, unless anything changes and they have to deliver me early, but they want to keep me in here and pregnant until 34 weeks, which is on the 6th, December 6th. Um, but we're in our room right now. I had a room before this room that was like teeny, it wasn't a bad room, it was just small. And I'm like, I wouldn't mind this room if I was just doing like my regular, like two days, three days postpartum. Excuse me. Sorry, that was disgusting. But, um, I'm in here for two weeks. They're going to have me in here for most likely two weeks. So, I'm going to need a room with some space. Like, yeah. Let's get a good room. <laughs> um, I don't know if I told you what hospital I'm delivering. I'm delivering at Howard. Or I'm, I'm at Howard, so I'll be here delivering. Um, yeah, this is the fit. Hospital gown girl. This is what I'm going to be in for the next two weeks. I just had my lunch or lunch that they give you. Um, I didn't eat too much of it. It was like a sm smothered pork chop. They got like a little paper on the tray. Smothered pork chop, rice, vegetables, uh, iced tea, and food cup on the side. 
Then they've been giving me um, cups of water throughout the day. Um, but for the most part, I'm, I just be chilling in this bed. I don't be doing really nothing exciting. I'm about to take this bonnet off, though, because even though I'm just sitting in the hospital, like, um, yeah, we're going to get that fixed. Um, I don't need to look like I'm just sitting in the hospital today. I don't, I'm not about to wear this bonnet for the next two weeks. I want to, you know, look like something. Um, yeah, my mom was here. Her and Freedom stayed overnight with me. My mom's going to be staying with me the whole time anyway, but, um, they stayed overnight with me. Um, my mom just left to go get, pack our bags and stuff like that, and, um, get my little sister and little brother together for school next week and all that great jazz, do their hair and all that, so she doesn't come back tonight, she'll come back tomorrow morning because the visiting hours are like, are from 11 to 9, she don't want to like, you know, push it, I guess she would say, so, yes, we're just in here, I'm watching my order, the TV right now. I wish I could flip it. Yeah. But I bought my iPad because the TV don't be showing nothing. So, um, yeah. Oh, let me show y'all the room real quick. Hold on. Okay, so right now I'm standing by the door. So this can be a shared room, but they said for the most part I'm going to be in here by myself. So, this is the couch area. It's like a bed. Um... But it turns into a couch. You just got to push those back in. And it's two separate couches. So, like, you can pull out one side. But the other side can stay up. All that great stuff. Um, yeah. That's where Freedom was sleeping at. Hospital bed. <laughs> a little drawer thing. I have two over there in the corner. Um, this is where my mom was sleeping at. This recliner chair. Got this extra chair in the corner. Um, for the most part, I think they're going to be, like, switching back and forth. So, since Freedom slept over here last night, my mom slept over there, they'll just switch. If she comes back tonight. She might not come back tonight. She might come back tomorrow morning. Ouch. But, yeah. Very spacious room. And then this is the sink. It's not in the bathroom. It's outside the bathroom, but. Oh, my God. And then this is the bathroom. Nice size bathroom. Mm -hmm. Showers over there. Yep. Pretty nice size room. And I'm like, I got all this space. I could have literally all the people in here that I want. They still like, no, only two guests in a room at a time. So, yeah. And then this is my view. The ambulance bay. <laughs> yeah. This is my mini condo apartment for the next two weeks. So you girls are getting good and comfy in here. I'm about to take this bonnet off. My hair is done, but it's not done how I want it to be. I wanted to get my hair twisted up before I came in here, but baby said no. And then what's crazy is that we was, me and Freedom was supposed to have our baby moon. What's today, Saturday? Yeah, today. We was supposed to go today until Monday. And that's when we was gonna take our pictures and stuff. Yeah, they didn't want us to do anything. They just wanted us you know it was like you had all this planned forget about it it's not getting done period i don't have i have everything else for the most part um i have their dresser with their clothes and stuff but i don't have a pack and plate or their stroller and car seat which is imperative because they're not gonna let you take them babies out of here without a car seat so um i think tomorrow my mom's gonna buy the pack and play, and then my uncle, one of my uncles, are, is getting the um, stroller and car seat. So I'll be good on that once they get in. Um, once that gets here, 
I just have to set it up and stuff, but um, yeah, for the most part, we should have everything together. That's just the most imperative stuff. And then after that, the other little stuff that I was wanting or needing, I can get. Um, they really let my food slip. Sorry. <laughs> you can bring over um, outside food. They had my containers sitting upside down the whole time it was in here. So my food. Michelle is a person of if you want it done right, do it yourself. Because why would you? Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, we just been here. I did not want to be in here for two weeks, y'all, but I was like contemplating like which one would be better, staying in here for two weeks, letting them get all their growth in that they need to. Um, or, I mean, it's still gonna be premium regardless, but every day that they're in here longer, it's better. So I was like, for that, the little healthies, then yeah. Oh, hold on, my mom's calling me. One second.
officially prepping Michelle for a C-section. It's time. I've been waiting for this. I don't know if y'all can hear me because I got a mask on and a beard mask. But I, I think everything will go fine. Um, the next clip y'all will see will probably be the babies. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> Did you get eyes and thighs for yours? Yeah. 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 It depends on it depends on how it goes. Because I have two and she wants to give her. No, I don't want to give one to you. Really. <laughs> well, but I can. I can. I can. I can. Okay. 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 Hey guys. Oh. I don't know if the remote is coming up on the TV. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little update since I haven't talked to you guys um, in a while. But it is Friday the 1st. I had them two days ago. Um, and I had to get a C-section. Um, they gave me the option at first between a vaginal or a C-section because baby A was head down, but at the last minute, um, I still decided to do a C-section anyway because of the, what they were saying with, if I do a vaginal, I could still end up needing some, like, Either way, it was going to be a procedure to be done, whether I did vaginal or C-section. So, um, I just opted for the C-section, but at the last minute he turned, so I was going to have to do a C-section anyway. But yes, I went in. Um, the laboring wasn't too bad. Uh, I think on a pain scale of 1 to 10, we're going to give it... A uh, probably about an eight, and I don't take pain very well, so let that also be like a reminder. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to turn the volume down. Okay. So yes, um, you guys have already seen like pictures and videos and stuff from. When they were born, um, they're still in the NICU, but I've been going down there every day, um, twice a day to see them. Um, yeah, they're sending me home tomorrow, I believe. Um, and I don't know how to feel, honestly. Um, if you can tell, kind of been crying a little because I don't want to leave them here but um, I know they won't be here for too long um, they're doing pretty well uh, Zane he is doing good with bottle feeding and uh, he's not on any um, 
IVs. They had him on an IV for blood sugar. He's not on that anymore. Um, Zen, though. He was taking the bottle. Um, he took the bottle Thursday. And then they tried to feed him this morning. He wasn't taking it. So they had to put in a feeding tube for him. Um, what else? Oh, his blood sugars are a little low. So they had to do um, an IV for him. Uh, they weren't too low to the point where they were concerning for them, but they wanted it just a little higher. Um, but yeah, for the most part, they're doing the main thing that they mm, the main thing that they were concerned about were was the breathing. Um, but they've been breathing on their own since they were born, so they're not. That's like the best part. Um, so I'm hoping they don't have to stay longer than a week here. I just really don't want them here by themselves at all. Um, but, yeah, it's nothing I can really do, but the Nikki is 24-7, so, open 24-7, so, um, I will be coming back up here every day, um, it's just, it's kind of hard because of, since I got the, um, c-section trying to like walk and stuff i'm very slow um not that that's going to prevent me from coming up here but um, i just feel like it would be a lot to do um while i'm trying to heal and stuff so i kind of wanted them to come home with me when i came home so i can heal and be with them and all that stuff um, but, yeah. Um, Freedom's not here right now. He walked to the gas station really quick. So, but I just want to update you guys. But, he's been here the whole time. I haven't shown him, um, a lot. But he's been here the entire time I've been in here, so. Um, yeah, he's been really helpful. My mom has been here. She's been helpful. My aunt has been up here. She's been helpful. They've been helping me at home because um, I didn't expect to give birth this early. So not everything was completely done. Um, but they've been helping out at home with like washing their clothes and stuff. So I've been having a lot of help from a lot of people. And I'm very appreciative about it. I really... Um, I'm glad for the help. Um, yeah, that's just a little update since I haven't really been updating you guys. Um, just because every day in here is practically the same. Uh, so I didn't, it wasn't really too much to update you guys on. But I still wanted to get some vlogging in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take pictures and stuff of them. I brought my Polaroid camera to take pictures. Um, I don't know if I want to take it down there and take a picture of them. I really only bought it because I thought they were going to be in the room. And I was going to take pictures like that. But if not, I'll just save them till they get home. And take some when they get home. Oh, and then my uncle came by the other day. Or yesterday. He bought me some balloons. Hold on. He bought me some balloons. He's a boy with a little, oh, don't mind my bed. With a little bear. Yeah, it's cute. But, um, I will still try to vlog daily, um, because I know Vlogmas, and I wanted to do Vlogmas, um, so I will definitely still try to vlog daily. I just don't know what it's all going to, like, the vlog is going to be about if it's going to be much of anything because i'm still healing too um but i will try to make as much content as i can for you guys and still be active 
and yeah i think i'm going to i think this vlog ends today no tomorrow so if i don't see you guys tomorrow um we're gonna end the vlog here and hopefully um zen and zane will be home soon um and you guys can see them see them like in their clothes because they haven't been wearing any of the outfits i got them just because they been in the NICU. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'll update you guys either tomorrow or today will be the last day. But, just a little update for you guys. So, we're getting ready to go to the hospital to go visit them. Visit the baby. Day one of how long they're gonna be there. I assume no more than a week because before we left yesterday, she did tell us, um, so their NICU has like three stages. Um, the intensive stage, um, the care stage, and the like last stage. So they're like in the intermediate stage right now, which means that they're being, they're just really being cared for at this point they're not being like closely watched or anything like that so that was good news to get before we left made me feel a little bit better about them still being there um yeah we're gonna go visit them we probably stay like two three hours and then head back home this is an everyday occurrence until they can come home fingers crossed only for a week but uh, oh, let me show you guys because we did the pack and play yesterday. We set it up and it looks great. I don't even think I told y'all the room yet. Well, their side of the room. Hold on, let me show y'all. Okay, don't mind my bag right there. That's just for easy access because um, I can't really reach up high and stuff like that. But this is what it's looking like so far. Or this will really be it. Um, their pack and play right here it has a double bassinet thing. Their little dresser with their clothes in it. I need to get a better storage container for this part. Oh, Hold on, Michael. I need to get a better storage container for this part. Um, this is just what I have for right now so I can get the storage oh, container. Hello. And then this is the wall. It's so cute. So I did repaint, as I can see. And the colors that was over here, I just made it gray. As y'all can see. And then I just redid the white that was on the white walls. But this is the room with the little sticker decals and their name. I love it. And then they have like their little apple trash kind of there in the corner. But yeah. Once I get this, I'm going to get this um, done up. I got another storage container. Shh. Storage container to do. And then some more bottles and stuff. But for the most part, this is it. And then set them up with their little diapers and stuff in here. Yeah. Yep.